Hey folks, Tim here. We're out on the Allagash Wilderness Waterway, uh, night three of our trip out here. We're camped at one of my favorite campsites on the river. There's a big, beautiful, deep chute down the middle there. There's a beautiful stream coming in across the way. So this is a great little fishing hole and also a great little swimming hole. So uh, a week ago we woke up uh, and it was 20 degrees Fahrenheit. This morning when we got up it was 62 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means that we're not alone. I don't know if you can see it, they'll show up in the screen there, but the bugs are out in force. So we're pretty much, if we're outside of our tents, we've got a smudge going, which is a metal coffee can I'll show you here in a second, uh, that we run a little smoky fire and we jam brush in it to keep it green, to keep the bugs away, and or we've got our campfire going all the time. So it's just really buggy, really warm, and that's a hard time to be in the woods. Uh, it's not easy, this isn't like September, um, and it's, we've pretty much lost our window of of lovely weather and no bugs, so now we have to we have to deal with you know the hardship that comes along with having bugs with us. So one quick thing here I wanted to show you guys is that almost always if I have the opportunity, this is my little tent under a tarp here. And I almost always set up a tarp over my tent. And I get asked a lot, you know, why do you do that? And it's a real simple answer. It keeps your tent drier, keeps your tent out of the sun. But the real simple answer is because tarps are cheaper than tents. So if I have a tarp set up and it's getting the wind, it's getting the, the sun, it's going to get eaten by the sun a lot sooner than the tent will. And again, tarps are cheaper than tents. So checking out from the Allagash. Hope you guys are having a good, good time and enjoying this video. And we'll check in again from Allagash Falls. See you later. Field harvested on the Allagash. Cooked in a Dutch oven over an open fire. It doesn't get much better than this. Came back to him working on the thinning the canoe pole. And if we look over at the river, we had a cold front come through and now we got about a 35 mile an hour wind. So we're gonna hang tight for lunch anyway. Hey folks, Tim here, still out on the Allagash. Uh, we had some really hot, humid, unseasonably warm temperatures for a few days. Then yesterday morning a front came through, it rained about an inch and a half in an hour, and then we had about a 40 mile an hour wind all day. So we decided to hold up and sit still. Last night was beautiful. We woke up this morning, it was 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We had a big cup of coffee and we got on the river by 6.30 in the morning. And now we're out here getting to experience this unbelievably stunningly gorgeous landscape at high water. And it's still only about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, but it's just awesome. Like, this morning is one of those mornings where I realize again, if I had forgotten, why I love to do this. And this morning is one of those mornings where I think about that guy, Jeff Bezos, who has all the money in the world. And I think he can have all the money, but... I'm the richest man in the world because up to if it's up to me, riches have nothing to do with money. True wealth. Look around. It's awesome. Thanks. Hey folks, Tim here. You can see behind me there, 
Allagash Falls. So we just completed the third of a mile carry around the falls. You can see over there on the beach, the guys are still getting ready to go. Um, but just a beautiful, beautiful place. And one of the things that makes it so special is that this isn't easy to get to. You, you can't drive here. The only way to it is by water or by snowmobile in the winter. So there's no road that comes right to this. So whenever you get to those places out there, sorry, the bugs are pretty bad right here. When you get to those places, enjoy them. Because it takes work to get there. Can't be just bought.